we have our volunteers. Thank you very much. The head coach for Longmeadow is Joe Pacero. He's assisted by Bob Laptis, Bob Bellanoit, James Haddad, David Wentz, and John Abbott. Longmeadow will receive the kick. Back deep for Longmeadow, number 81. Daly Afalabi. Number 81. And 20. Can you see the other one? Add 27 maybe for Long Meadow? It's like Tim Marinelli. Tim Marinelli to receive the kickoff for Long Meadow. Start the first quarter. Long Meadow will be moving from our left to our right. The first two games played tonight, Long Meadow was victorious at the, in the Pee Wees and the uh, junior level. So we'll see if the seniors can, uh, can carry it forward. Yep. On the field, we have one more adult volunteer, please. Can you please step forward to the, to the bench? One more volunteer. We found that volunteer. Thank Keith you. Berry kicking off for wear. What number? Number four, Keith Berry kicking off for wear. Advances on the ball. Here's the kickoff. Ball slips between the two receivers. It's picked up by number 81 for Long Meadow. Goes down to one knee. Number 81, Daly Afalabi. Probably Afalabi receiving the kickoff for Long Meadow. Probably a smart move by Daly just to down the ball. Looks like Long Meadow was set up on their own 18 yard line, first and 10. Looks like number 14 at quarterback, Sam Furch. First and 10 for Longmeadow on their own 15. Longmeadow breaks the huddle. Wing formation right. Hand off to number 27. Number 27, Tim Marinelli. Tim Marinelli on the carry. It's like Daly Afalabi and Tim Marinelli in the backfield. Second and four, Longmeadow. It's like number. Tackled by Zach Bombarius for where? Number 88, Jack Dow checking Jack in. on first down by Longmeadow. Second and four. Wing left formation. Ball hand off the second back. Looks like a pickup of about two yards. 81 daily off the lobby. Off the lobby on the carry. That's going to bring up third and about three for Long Meadow. Third and three. Number 30. Greg Alexander checking into the ball game for Long Meadow. Like Long Meadow's going to shuttle the plays in with their wide receivers, Bob. David DeLuca splitting out wide for Long Meadow. Sam Forch hands off the first back through. He's got a big hole. He's in the open. He could go all the way. Tim Marinelli. Number 27, Tim Marinelli, is going to go all the way for the, for the night. Nobody's going to touch him. Boy, that, that was quite a hole, I'll tell you, Ed. No flags. No flags in the play. Marinelli, touchdown, Long Meadow. Looks like Tim went about 70 yards with that one, didn't he? Yeah, it looks like the uh, Ware defense was kind of stacked up on the line of scrimmage there. There was nobody back. Yeah, once he broke the line of scrimmage, he was uh, off to the Long races. Meadow going for their two point conversion. Long Meadow sets up for their two point conversion. Sam Furch on their center for Long Meadow. Hand off the second back through. It looks like he's going to be stopped short. Marinelli. 27. Marinelli again on the carry. He was uh, looks like he only got about a yard in the play. 
to Longmeadow does not make the two-point conversion. That makes the score Longmeadow six. We're nothing. Well, that, that didn't take long, did it? I want to give you the weight restrictions again. This is for the seniors. The weight restriction is 135 pounds. If you're over 135 pounds, you're restricted again to playing the interior line positions. That obviously a safety measure at the suburban youth football level. And players who are over 135 pounds are not allowed to participate on either the kick off or kick return team. Longmeadow set to kick off. Longmeadow getting ready to kick off. Falabi kicking off for Long Meadow. Nice kick. In the middle, fielded by Ware. Daly off Falabi with the kick off for Long Meadow. Number 12, Ryan Lagowitz. Receiving for Ware. Trent Lagowitz on the receiving the kickoff for Ware. Returns it back almost to midfield. Ware's going to set up on their own 47-yard line first down. Ware begins their drive on their own 47-yard line. Ware comes out, split receiver to the right, wing right. Hand off to the first back. Stop for about a two yard loss by Long Meadow. Tackle by number 44, Jack Abbott for Long Meadow on the stop. McQuaid at right outside linebacker for Long Meadow. There's a pitch to number 23 for Ware. He's in the clear. Brought down by number 46 for Long Meadow, Rob Poley. Number 23. For a nice game. Abraham. Ware picks up the first down. Running the ball for Ware. Ball carried by number 23. Run out of bounds by Josh number Abraham. Rob Foley. Got to the corner quick and uh, picked up a nice gain and a first down for Ware. Mr. Foley may have saved a touchdown there. It was a terrific tackle in the open field. Breaks the huddle, first and ten on the long metal 35 yard line. There's a sweep by number 12. And he's brought down in the backfield by Long Meadow. It's going to be a loss of about seven or eight yards on the play. Boy, number 17, Brian Griggs, did a great job of pushing that play deep. He almost made the tackle. It's going to bring up second and about 20 for Ware. Long Meadow, 44-yard line. 
Hand off to the first back three, number 22. He's got some running room. Gary Bellows in the carry for wear. Got back to the original line of scrimmage and a little bit number further. That was a great misdirection Gary move Bellows. by Carrying the ball for where? Where with the fake pitch to one side and then the back coming up the other side. Bring up third and about seven for where. Looks like it's full long middle. We've gotten back just about all the yardage they've lost. Third and seven for number where? 48, Clayton McGrath, and number 44, Jack Abbott. Playing middle linebacker for Long Meadow. Where calls a 20 second timeout. The Long Meadow players, number 75, Mike Wentz from the defensive line. There's number 56, Doug Haddad out there for Long Meadow. Number 72 is Matt Casatello for Long Meadow. And number 76, Mike Shea on the defensive line. We got anchoring that defensive line, number 64, Sam Nato. Sam's usually at nose guard. Work comes out third and seven from the Long Meadow 35 yard line. Tony Napree set out wide for Ware. There's a ball fumble in the play. I believe Ware got the fumble back. There is a flag also on the play. Terrific tackle by number 46, Polite, forcing that fumble. with um, legal procedure. Long Meadow declines the penalties can bring up fourth down for Ware. That's a Long Meadow 35 yard line. the huddle. Number 38. Split out wide for where. Drops back to pass. That fast rush and he is sacked in the backfield. By number 17 for Long Meadow. Number 64. Ryan Griggs. Sam Nato. Yeah. Sam, Sam Nato. Sam Nato. He just buried him on that play. Meadow's going to take over on their own 44-yard line. Where's quarterback did well to hang on to that ball. With. First and ten to Long Meadow. David DeLucas play out wide for Long Meadow. Hand off up the middle. Staley. Staley off the lobby. Off the lobby. Picked up about three on the play. Second and seven for Long Meadow. Tim Marinelli coming out for Long Meadow. Tim had that long touchdown run early in the game. Long Meadow sets up in power eye formation. Hand off to David DeLuca. Oh, Second back through enough to fake. Pass out to number. Pass to number 35. 35 Sam for Long Meadow. That's a nice pass. Kevin Nice fake and, and pass. Terrific pass by Sam Furch. And as you said, Bob, a terrific fake. I think he had us fooled. Long 
Palmetto picks up the first down. Now in Ware territory. David DeLucas puts out wide for Longmeadow. And off to the second back through, number 27. There he goes again, Mar Marinelli. And Marinelli, he's going to go again for the touchdown unless they can catch him. He is in the end zone all the way. That's the second long run for Tim tonight. Number 27, Tim Marinelli with a touchdown long meadow. Tim Marinelli on about a 40-yard off-tackle yeah. run by Long Meadow. The second long run of the night. I don't know, Bob. It looked like the same play he scored on earlier. I think it was, Ed. Long Meadow sets up for their conversion. Number 19, Jesse Weiss checking in for, uh, for Long Meadow. Mm -hmm. Long Meadow going for their two-point conversion. David Morowski spread out the flag on the play. I don't know if Long Meadows taking too much time or I think he said number. Wait to see what the referee calls here. It's gonna back Long Long Meadow up five yards. I think he caught fifty six, Doug Hadad lining up in the neutral zone. We had a legal formation against Long Meadow. Now they'll try the conversion from the eight yard line. Pass intended for David DeLuca. Incomplete. Four remains, ninth, 12, where zero. That was a nice pass by Jesse White. So almost connected on that to David DeLuca. I don't know if you saw that, but Tim Marinelli was uh, lined up as a slot back that time and uh, was wide open in the end zone. It looked like they were going to David all the way. Yeah. So that brings the score to Long Meadow 12 and where nothing. Long Meadow set the kick off. <laughs> off the lobby gonna, is the, uh, the kickoff man for Long Meadow. So some of the players on the kickoff team for Long Meadow, number 83 is Brendan Dean. Daily off the lobby, kicking off for Long Meadow. Number 30, Greg Alexandru. Number 37, Bernie Marshall. Here's the kickoff. It's taken by Ware at their own 25 yard line, heading to the right. Kick received by Brian, Brian Lagovich. Brian Lagovich on the carry for Ware. Got the ball out to their own 40 yard line. Pretty good coverage on that kick for Long Meadow. A couple of more Long Meadow players checking in. Number 82, Nate Braverman on the defense. Where on their own 40. Where sets up in the I formation with a wing right. It's a pitch to number 27. Ball pitch to number 23, Josh. Correction, it's 23. Long Meadow swung Josh all over Abraham that. Josh on the sweep. Long Meadow strung it up pretty nicely. Still picked up about five yards though for wear. Kind of interesting, but we haven't seen any of that razzle dazzle out of wear that we saw so much of in the uh, the junior game. Seems to be a pretty conservative offense so far, anyway. Second and six for wear. Tony Lepar spreads out left to the right for Ware. Down the line, the pitch to the running back up the sideline. And he is close to the first down, knocked out of bounds. 
About two yards short of the first down. Number 12, Brian Lagovich. Was that an option? Lagovich on the carry for where? Was that an option? It was an option play. play. Yeah. Option play, he did a nice job pitching the ball. Uh, it's going to bring up third and short for where? Need about two yards. Far winds up as, as the uh, wide receiver for Ware in an eye formation. Here's the quarterback sneak. Not much there. But it looks like you guys have enough for the first okay. down. Got just enough. Just got enough. Number 44, Jack Abbott for the tackle. Jack stepped up Long in the. Meadow. Brian Lockwich yeah. on the carry, the quarterback. Nice tackle there by Jack Abbott. Number 12. Brian Lagovich, the carry on where? First down just in Longmeadow territory. Longmeadow calls timeout. Timeout, Longmeadow. Well, except for that successful option play, Longmeadow's done a pretty good job protecting uh, their sidelines. Yeah. Longmeadow well, scored twice on two long runs by uh, Tim Marinelli. It's been the bulk of their offense tonight. This Longmeadow senior team is undefeated, having won their first two games against Springfield and CYL. To begin the yep. second quarter, Ware sets up on the Long Meadow 49-yard line. Back to pass. Ware balls in the air. Looks like it's going to be broken up by number 44 for Long Meadow. That's Jack Abbott Jack again. Abbott. Number 44, Jack Abbott, breaking up the pass. Pass was intended for Zach Barbius for Ware. Second and ten, Ware. The Long Meadow pass rush was very effective. He barely had enough time to get that off. Second and ten for Ware. Ball still on the 49-yard line. comes out in the eye formation. There's a reverse to number eight. Breaks a couple of tackles. He's not going to make it back to the line of scrimmage. Greg McQuaid, number Zach 29. Barbies on the carry for Ware. Yeah, that play looked like it... Uh, had something working there for a minute, but uh, Long Meadow pursued well. Greg McQuaid did a great job of staying home. He was just standing there waiting for that reverse. Third down and 12 for Ware. Number 75, number 56 checking in for Long Meadow. That's Mike Wentz. And coming out, Dan Chase coming out of the game for Long Meadow. Number 38. David Borowski going in. And number 35, Devin Haddad. Brian Lager was getting the play from sideline for Ware. Third down and 12. They're on 49 yard line. Quick pitch to number 23 for Ware. Trying to get the sideline. 
And he's going to be stopped by Long Meadow at about the line of scrimmage. He may have picked up two or three yards. Ball pitched to number 23, Josh Abraham. I think there was Josh Abraham on the carry for where? Looked like there were five or six Long Meadow players swarming to that football. Rob Foley was one of the Long Meadow players on the tackle. Nice job. He's up fourth down for where? Fourth and ten where? Keith Berry checks into the game for where to do the punting. Kick is away. And down by Ware on the Long Meadow 32 yard line. Long Meadow takes possession of the ball on their own 32 yard line. Number 19, Jesse Weiss, in a quarterback now, I think. I believe that's correct, yeah. yeah. Just DeLuca, or David DeLuca, I'm sorry, spreading out right left for the Knights. Going in motion. Here's the pitch to Tim Morelli again. He's got the corner. He's down the sidelines, and he went out of bounds. He stepped out of bounds at about the where 48-yard line. It looked like he had looked like he had the corner there for a minute. Yeah, some good Still a nice pickup and a first down for Long Meadow. Some good lead blocking by Daly Afalabi, number 81, and David DeLuca, number 22, on that play. So Long Meadow does pick up the first down. We've got Devin Haddad coming in for David DeLuca. Ball just inside Ware territory. Long Meadow sets up in a wing right formation. Jesse Weiss under center to hand off to the first back through. Devin Haddad. David Haddad. Devin Haddad on the, on the carry for Long Meadow. Nice game on first down. Picked up about five or six yards. Strong run right up the middle. Second and four, Long Meadow. Jesse Weiss, number 19, back in the game for Long Meadow. Long Meadow shifts into a wing right formation. In motion. Roll out, wide open receiver for Long Meadow. There is a flag on the play, however. Let's see what the flag is. 39, Tony Riley, there's a flag on the play. That was a beautiful pass. Beautiful pass and catch by Tony Riley. Taking the ball down to the, looks like the where, maybe 25 yard line, but it may be coming back. Shame, man. That was a well-executed yeah, play sure that was. time. Looks like it's coming back, though. Great fake, great rollout, and a great pass. Looks like we had an illegal man downfield against Long Meadow. Up front. Long Meadow's going to set up. Number 75, Mike Wentz has been doing a great job. On their 45-yard line. Play is called back. An official timeout to get the chains reset. It's going to be second, second and ten for Long Meadow from their own 45-yard line. Also, also been getting some great blocking from number 65, Joe Pacquero. Uh, 
think so, Michelle. I think it's actually separate. Yes, oh my God. That's okay. Mm -hmm. That's in 10 Long Meadow on their own 45. Palmetto breaks the huddle, Greg. Credit Alexander splits out wide. David DeLuca in the slot for Long Meadow. Single back formation. Back to pass. Pass rush. Pulls the ball down. He's going to run the ball. And he's going to be knocked out of bounds. Jesse Weiss knocked out of bounds at about the. 19, Jesse Weiss ran out of bounds. And about then the 44, Sean Sullivan. Sean Sullivan knocking Jesse out of bounds for where? Well, it's not only a great run, it was a great job scrambling to get away from that defensive rush. Picked up about eight yards on the play. Could have very well been an eight-yard loss. Check that. Make that about seven yards. It's going to be third and three for Long Meadow. Third and three for Long Meadow. David DeLuca split out wide for Long Meadow. Jesse Wise hands the first back through. Number 27. Tim Marinelli. Carrying the ball for Long Meadow. Tackled by number 70. Kevin Deneen. Kevin Deneen on the tackle for Ware. Long Meadow does pick up the first down. The carry was good for a first down, Long Meadow. Meadow now at where 45 yard line. Long Meadow breaks the huddle. Jesse Weiss under under center. David DeLuca sets up as a wing back. First back through Tim Mar uh, Marinelli again for Long Meadow. Pick up a five on the play. Boy, he hits that hard. He hits that hole quick, doesn't he? Wow. Tim Marinelli running the ball. Robert Better on the stop for Where? Number 44, Sean Sullivan. But not after, uh, only after Marinelli picked about five yards up for Long Meadow. Long Meadow. Big, Second and five. It's a big series for Where. They're looking to go down by three touchdowns here. Again, Long Meadow sets up in a wing left. There's a pitch in the backfield, a nice play by Ware. Number eight. Number one, Zach one. Barbius for Ware. Stopping Apalabi in the backfield eight. for Long Meadow. Zach Loss of Bobby. about five. Boy, Ware needed that. It's going to bring up third and 15 for Long Meadow. Let's see what kind of play Joe P's got for a, Coach Joe P's got for a third and 15, huh, Ed? <laughs> I like that uh, bootleg pass play myself. Let's see if we see it again. It's one that got called back on the penalty. Greg Alexander splits out wide. Double slot backs for, for Long Meadow. Single back backfield. Back to pass. Going to his right. To his left, he is uh, Jesse still on his feet, still going, still going. That's a terrific run. Jesse Weiss. Jesse Weiss on the carry for Long Meadow. Great second and third effort there. And again, he avoided two uh, pass rushers in his own back. Fair on the tackle for Ware. It's going to bring up fourth down and five yards for Long Meadow. And 21, Roger Driscoll checking in for where? <laughs> Fourth and five for Long Meadow. Hand off to 27, Tim Morelli. Looks like he's going to be short of the first down, though. Number 27, Tim Marinelli. Running the ball from Long Meadow. Going to be short a couple of yards, and Ware's going to take over. Just shy of the first down. Ware takes possession of the ball on their own 36. So Ware sets up on their own 36-yard line. Long Meadow leading 12 to nothing in this game. How far are we into the game?
Kirsten Tenware. We've got now number 89, Jared Laptis, over at the left corner for Longmeadow. There's a flag on the flag. Word comes out in eye formation. And first down. But they're going to be flagged for false start. It's going to be first and 15 for where? First and 15 for Ware on about their only 32, 33 yard line. Ware lines up in the I formation. There's a fake pitch and a handoff up the middle. Nice gain for number 22 for Ware. Number 22, Gary, Gary Below. Gary Below for Gary Ware on the carry. For Ware. Tackle made by number 46, Rob Coley. <laughs> for Long Meadow. Second and six, Ware. Pulley on the stop for Long Meadow that time. Burke comes out second in about six. Again, the same play. Fake pitch, hand off to the back into the middle. Didn't fool anyone. Stop for no gain this time. Number 76, Mike Shea. Travel for Long Meadow. Time out for wear on the field. Sets up third down on their own 40 yard line. Third and six, Ware. Yeah, I think Ware needs to get some offense yeah. going here. Long Meadow defense has pretty much shut them down tonight. It's a big play for Ware right here. Motion. Oh boy. There's a flag on the play. Flag on the play. <laughs> Where it may have had an illegal formation there, not enough men on the line of scrimmage. Not a good time for that penalty for Ware. So that's going to push him back. Now it's going to bring up about a third and ten for Ware. Number 23 for Ware, trying to find the corner. Great defensive play for Long Meadow. Still on his feet. Number 23, Josh Abraham. Josh Abraham with a carry for Long Met for uh, Ware. Okay, okay. Rob Pulley again on the stop for Long Meadow. He's got to have about three or four tackles yeah. himself. Yeah. And once again, five and six Long Meadow players swarming around the ball carrier. Great job.
We'll bring up fourth down and about six for wear. Fourth and six for wear on their own 40 yard line. <laughs> Devin Haddad way back. Devin Haddad. for Long Meadow. Back to take the punt. No, it's fake. a fake. Number eight on on, their, on uh, sweep for where? Looks like he may have the first down. I think he does. And there's a flag there's on the flag play. On the play. Number eight, Zach Barbius running the ball for where? We've got a personal foul, looks like, coming up against uh, Long Meadow. I don't know if it was a late hit out of bounds or what. Um, looked like that time they snapped the ball to the short um, the short receiver on the punt, and he swept to the left, and uh, they just picked up enough for the first down, Ed. And then they're going to tack 15 on top of that for a personal foul against Long Meadow. There's a big swing in the game right there. So Ware's going to set up on the Long Meadow 39-yard line. First and ten. First and ten for where? Along Meadow 38. Looks like they had the fake punt stop, but uh, got just enough to pick up the first down. And then they tack 15 on top of that. Number seven, Tony Lafarge splits out wide for where? On first down. It's a pitch to 27 for where? Longmeadow stringing it out and has him stopped in the backfield. All pitch number 23, Josh Abraham. Tackled by number 23, 17, Josh Abraham Brian on Griggs. the carry for Ware. Stopped by Brian Griggs for Longmeadow. Loss of five, 20 second timeout for Ware. Second and 16. Back to pass. Pass is coming. The ball is away. It's intercepted by Long Meadow. There's a flag on the play. Ball is intercepted by Long Meadow. Looks like, looks like uh, Long Meadow is going to be flagged for roughing the passer. She's going to nullify the interception. There's a flag. That's a tough call. That looked like pretty good pass rush by Long Meadow there. So roughing the passer is going to be called against Long Meadow. Personal foul call. It's going to set up a first down, I guess, for uh, where? For after the 15-yard penalty. Correction, it's going to make it second and about two for where? Second and two for where? Among that is 30. A personal foul. A personal foul should be a first down. Shouldn't that be a first down? I think yeah. it should, Ed. Yep, they're moving the chains now. That is a first down first for where? First down where? On Long Meadows' 30-yard line. Hey, both times it looks like Long Meadows had them stopped and only to give up uh, penalties uh, for first downs. There's a big hole. There's a sweep. Number eight for Ware's loose. A couple of missed tackles. He's still on his feet. Looks Number like he's eight, Zach Barbius running the ball for Ware. Zach Barbius on a keeper. Number Run out of bounds by Long Meadow. It's enough for the first down. But the clock runs out, and that looks like that's going to be the end of the first half with a score. Half time. Knights 12. With where nothing. 12. Where one. <laughs> we get ready to start the second half. The captains are meeting in the middle of the field. 
Longmeadow won the toss to start the game. Looks like the same captains for Longmeadow. 35, Devin Haddad. 17, Brian Griggs. 65, Joe Pacero. 56, Doug Haddad. And 46, Rob Pola. What does Ware have to do to get back in this ball game? Well, they have to do what they were doing at the end of the first half. Unfortunately for them, they ran out of time. They came up with a big fake punt, and they were driving down the field, and they just ran out of time. Looks like Longmeadow is going to kick off to begin the second half. <laughs> Back deep for Ware. Brian Lagowitz. Longmeadow is kicking off. And Josh Abraham. It's going to be tough to wear. Excuse me, no. Bailey Apollabi is going to be kicking off for Longmeadow. Go ahead. Longmeadow has just shown a very tough pass rush all game. It's going to be tough to wear to come back down 12 nothing. Here's the kickoff. Good kick. Ball gets past. Ryan Legowitz picks it up to about the 15 yard line. He's not going to get much further. Looks like number 37, Bernie Marshall. Bernard Marshall for Long Meadow. Good hard tackle. Number 12, Brian Lagovich picks up the ball for where? Where's going to start on their, looks like they're on 20 yard line. Number 88, Jack Dow was in on that tackle too. Good pursuit. Seem to be uh, able to move the ball early a wide against Longmeadow, but uh, they just weren't getting much going at all in the uh, second quarter. Longmeadow pretty much shut them down. Motion for where? Longmeadow jumps, but uh, no, may have not back. gotten back. The sweep. Number 27. I think number Tim Marin or, I'm sorry, not Tim Marinelli. Uh, 23 for where? Looks Josh like Abraham. Looks like number 75, Mike Wentz, and number 17. Number 23, Josh Abraham. Brian Griggs jumped. Looked like Brian got back, but I don't think Mike got back. Yep, yeah, Momento is going to be flagged for offside, so it's going to make it first and five for where? Number 75, Mike Wentz on the tackle for Longmeadow. Offsides against Longmeadow, first and five. For where? Offsides has been called against Longmeadow. First and five, where? The handoff to the first back through for where? Breaks the tackle. Gets close to the first down. Number 46, once again for Longmeadow, Rob Poli. Rob Poli for Longmeadow. Not quite enough for the first down. Looks like it's going to be second and uh, about a yard for where? Barbia splits out wide for where? High formation in the backfield. There's a snap. There's a handoff inside to number 22. Gary below. There's Jack Abbott again with the tackle up the middle Jack for Long Meadow. Abbott's the tackle for Long Meadow, but uh, there is enough for a first number for where first down. Gary below. Carrying the ball for where? Tackled by number 44, Jack Abbott. That was that fake pitch handoff inside that they've uh, they like that success play. with a couple times yeah. tonight. Yeah. 
First down for Ware on their 32-yard line. There's a reverse. Got some room. He's got the sideline. He's going to have a first down. Ooh. Zach Barbius on the reverse for Ware. Picks up a first down. Ed, could you see who was on the tackle there? Barbius, running the ball. Uh, Rob Pole had a hold of him and hung on to him, but he got dragged for a couple of yards. It looked like Jack Dowd, I think it was 88, took a real shot. Rob Poley, number 46, making the tackle for Longmeadow. Pickup was good for a first down from Ware. You know, they haven't done anything really spectacular, but they've just kind of been steadily moving the ball yeah. this first, uh, second half. Yeah, nothing Aaron fancy, no razzle-dazzle like the juniors showed us for Ware. Hand off to the first back through. Looks like he's got about nine yards on the play. Boy, the uh, Ware offensive line just pushed the Longmeadow defensive line back. Rob Better, I believe, was the, the uh, ball Number carrier for Ware. Jack Abbott with another tackle for Longmeadow. Jack Abbott made the stop for Longmeadow, but not Number. after uh, only after about a gain of eight yards for Ware. Number 76, Mike Shea coming out for Longmeadow. Second and two, Ware. First seems to have found a little uh, renewed energy yeah. here in the second half. Definite shift seems in the momentum. Moving the uh, offensive line. It's whistles on the, before the play can get started. Maybe a neutral zone <coughs> violation. Uh, looks like it may have been a mouthpiece violation against uh -huh. Long Meadow. Safety first. They will stop the play and penalize a player without a mouthpiece. Well, apparently the play was stopped and a warning was given. I don't, uh -huh. It didn't look like there was any, any yardage penalized. The rule is the mouthpiece has to be a solid color, not clear, so that the refs can see that it's in place. Still second and eight for where? Second and two. Correction second two. Uh, the option play. Nicely done. Nicely done by Ware. Pitch to the, the trailing back. Uh, number 23, Josh Abraham on the carry. Another first down for, for uh, Ware. Number 23, Josh Abraham running the ball for Ware. Well, Meadow doesn't seem to uh, have figured out that option just yet. Back another first down on Long Meadow 40. Ware sets up for first down on the 40 yard line for Long Meadow. <laughs> this drive started back on the Ware 20 yard line, so they've been uh, steadily moving the ball in. Yep. Motion by Ware, hand off to the first back through. Second effort, he may have gotten a yard. Great job by Rob Polay. Just dragged him down. Well, Polay again on the stop for Long Meadow. Boy, Abbott and Polay up the middle. That's a tough tandem for Ware to crack, but they are moving the ball. Picked up about a yard. On the tackle for Long Meadow. It's a big series for Ware. for Ware. Long Meadow failed to get both two point conversions after their touchdown, so if Ware can score and get the two points, we've got a real ball game here. Back in the game, that's for sure. Second and nine for Ware on the 40. Offensive line seems to be doing a little bit better job against Long Meadows defense this half. Much better. Brian Lagovich splits oh, out. Big time sack. Here's Rob Poley again. Rob Poley. He's having a monster game. Well, there's got to look like there's about three 46s out there tonight. He's everywhere. He is awesome tonight. Brings Ware to third and 15. Big loss for Ware on the play. It's going to bring up third and 15. Well, I think we're in two down territory, down 12 nothing. Don't see a lot of punts once you cross the 50 yard line in this league. Ware calls a 20 second timeout. Number 75, Mike Wentz coming in. Number 65, Joe Pacuro coming out, number 72 coming out, Matt Carcitello. Where's 
got to be thinking two plays here, Bob. I guess what you want to do is get half of it the first yep. play and try to get half the second. But you need about 15, that's for sure. Great in motion for Ware. Again, the option play. Quarterback keeps the ball. They there he is for, again. Stop for no gain or actually uh, about a two-yard loss. Rob Poley again. Number 46, Rob Poley once again. He's just dominating. Fourth down for Ware. Fourth down and uh, looks like close to 20 yards for a first down. Fourth and about 20 for Ware. Where well, sets up in punt formation. Kick is away. Ball's going to be down by number eight for where? For where? On the long middle 30 yard line. That look. Looked like uh, Ware had a little drive going that time. Yep. They started at their own 20 and uh, moved it past midfield, but uh, well, it was that bogged down there at the last. Was that big sack on second down by Rob Poley created that third and 15, and they just didn't recover from it. Big play. Longmeadow takes over the ball on their own 30. Longmeadow needs a couple of first downs here. David DeLucas splits out wide for Longmeadow. First down. Hand off straight ahead. Big hole. And we've got Sam Perch, number 14, in, back in at quarterback for Longmeadow. Number 27, Tim Marinelli. Tim Marinelli on the carry. Tim's had a big night tonight. He's got to have over 100 yards rushing. <laughs> Looks like Coach Piquero is alternating his quarterbacks by series. Both of them done well tonight. Tim picks up a first down for Longmeadow. Good for a first down for Longmeadow. All the rest to the 40 yard line. And off the second back, Tim Marinelli again. Nice tackle. Good tackle by Ware that time, number eight. Number 27, Tim Marinelli. Right Zach Barbius on the stop for Ware. Number Zach, number eight, Zach Barbius. Looks like a pickup of about uh, four yards, though. So three yards for Long Meadow. Number 30, Greg Alexandru coming out for Long Meadow. Second and seven, Long Meadow. Second and seven for the Knights. Set up in the power eye. David DeLuca shifts the wing. It's pitched to Marinelli. He's got some room. Got some room, yeah. Got some room. Good block downfield. Looks and like Marinelli's loose. He's going to go all the way for Long Meadow. Tim's third touchdown for the night. For a touchdown, Long Meadow. There is a flag on the play, though. It's going to be coming back. Looks like we've got an illegal blocker blocking the back against Long Meadow. Oh, I see the flag now. Over on the other side of the field. That's a shame. Another great run by Tim Marinelli. Boy, he has got some explosive speed, doesn't he? That play is called back. It's going to be a first down for Long Meadow. At their 40, at uh, where's 45 yard line? First down for Long Meadow on where's 45 yard line. David DeLuca splits out wide for the Knights. Hand off to Marinelli again. He's got some running room. Picks up about four for Long Meadow. Down by Gary below for, for Ware. Good solid tackle there by Ware. Second and six, Long Meadow. It's going to bring up second and six for the Knights. Ware's probably happy to hold Marinelli to seven or eight yards on a carry. <laughs> Sam Forge 
comes into the long metal huddle with the play. I don't know yeah. David DeLucas put way wide for long metal and it comes in, in motion. Marinero on the carry. Great job by Ware. That time, a uh, good tackle by Ware. Pick up of only uh, maybe a couple yards that time. It's going to bring up third and third and five for Long Meadow. Number 22, Gary Below on the tackle for Ware. Nice open field tackle. Long Meadow, Meadow shifts into a wing right formation. Motion on the play. Roll out. He's going to be thrown down for a loss. A number eight for Ware. Looks like he may be injured on the play. The quarterback, number 14, Sam Forch, tried to get outside. Yeah. Thrown to the ground by Ware. Looks like maybe the wind got knocked out of him. Yeah. Trainers are on the field. That was a tough tackle there. Official timeout on the field. Bring up fourth down and, and long for Long Meadow. Play is resumed. Well, Mr. Furch hasn't gotten up yet. Either. the last play of the third quarter, Ed, excuse me. Well, no, he may have had the wind knocked out of him or just got shaken up. As we start the fourth quarter, Long Meadow's going to be fourth and uh, 16, 17 yards for first down. the injured player for Long Meadow. Looks like they've got him at least sitting up now, so.
Ben Perch on his feet. He's being helped off the field. Looks like uh, maybe holding a wrist or a shoulder. Could be a shoulder injury the way he was uh, thrown down to the ground. Yeah. First it looked like he maybe just got the wind knocked out of him, but he's obviously got a tender wrist there. Jesse White's going to be coming in for Long Meadow at quarterback now. It's nice to have two quarterbacks. To start the fourth quarterback or fourth quarter. Uh, Long Meadow's going to have fourth and about 15 for first down. Long Meadow still leading 12 to nothing. At the start of this fourth quarter, score remains nice 12, where zero. Meadow. Long Meadow sets up in the wishbone. There's a pitch to uh, Tim, Tim Marinelli. He's got a corner and he's knocked out of bounds on the 40 yard line. It's going to be short of the first down. Where it's going to take over. Now, once again, some pretty good blocking by number 22, David DeLuca, and number 81, Daly Afalabi, but it just wasn't enough. Looks like that play had a little more uh, chance than it actually did when it started, but uh, Ware did a good job pursuing and knocking uh, Tim out of bounds. Well, Ware's going to take over on their own 41-yard line. Let's see if that Long Meadow defensive line can toughen up because since the half, Ware's been getting the better of the play on the on the line, no question about it. Ware had a drive, er a drive earlier and just got bogged down with a, a couple penalties and uh, one, one, uh, one big loss. And it's been Mr. Moving the ball, though. It's been the Abbott Poli show on defense for Long Meadow, shutting down Ware so far. There's a handoff, number eight. Zach Barbius. Rod Pulley again. Number eight, Zach Barbius. With the ball for Ware. Pulley on the stop, but not after uh, Ware gained about six yards on the play. Five yards. Second and five for Ware. Ed, you got to think they've got to score this time if they're going to have a chance to, to pull this game out at all. Yeah, I think time's running out. Seven and six to Ware on the 45. Nice carry again by Zach Barbius for Ware. Good yardage. Once Looks like picks up the Zach first down Barbius for Ware. Ware. Yep. Number 72, Matt Casatello checking in for Long Meadow. Where sets up first down on the Long Meadow 47 yard line. I think Ware's going to have to put it up. Ware calls the timeout. Ware couldn't get the people in. I don't think they wanted to that time in on the play. They had to call a timeout. Looks like they've been dropping Devin Haddad, number 35, almost into a prevent defense. He's way back. Where comes out in their eye formation, first and ten. Roll out by number 12, the quarterback, and uh, he's got going out pretty well. Yeah. He didn't have anywhere to go. Want to get some tackles on the carry. Um, 
Uh, looks like he made a loss a couple of yards yeah. in the play. He just uh, defense strung that one out pretty well. Looks like Matt Castello, number 72, helped out on that tackle as well. Looks like there was a loss of a couple on the play. So Nate Braverman comes, checks out for Longmeadow. Second and 12 for Ware. Number one splits out wide for Ware, Squat Swidrick. This is the first back oh, through. Wow. Good tackle by number 35. Number 35, Devin Haddad. Good tackle for Long Meadow. Devin got him up a little high there, didn't he, Bob? Got him like, up a little high, but they still got uh, yeah. they got back about seven or eight yards yeah. on that carry. Long Meadow lucky they didn't see a flag on that hit. Tough hit. 36 to where? So what do you call here? Had third and six. They've uh, they've had some success up the middle, but uh, Long Meadows actually stopped the option play the last time. Yeah, they have. But, but that's really been their best play. So I'd look for the option. And they're in two down territory here anyway. Well, back to pass. Oh, a heavy boy. pass rush by Long Meadow. He gets out of the pocket. Wow. Still on his feet. Oh boy! Nice scramble by the by the yeah. quarterback uh, Brian Lackowitz for for where? Kind of a risky call because if he's sacked in that situation, they're in big trouble. Actually picked up a couple of yeah. yards. It's still going to bring up fourth down for where? Fourth and and about four yards for where? Well, now let's see if we see the option. There needs about four yards to get this drive going. Ball's on the 40 yard line of the Knights. And the 12 in a row out. Looks like he's got some room. But he's going to be, I believe, stopped short of the first down. I think he's a good yard short, yeah. Casatello again, number 72. Nice tackle for Long Meadow. By a big tackle by number 72, Matt Casatello. Looks like the officials are going to call for measurement. Initially it looked like he was about a yard short, but apparently it's closer than that. That was a big time tackle by Matt Casatello there. Official time out for measurement. Close. Ball goes over to Long Meadow. The run just short of a first down. Possession goes to Long Meadow. Where it came up about a yard and a half short on that play. Ball goes over to Long Meadow on their 37, 38 yard line. Jack Dowd, number 88, in for Long Meadow. Yeah, you got to think if they can uh, get a couple first downs here, they just about put this one in the W column, huh? I think so. That was a big fourth down stop for Longmeadow. Where really needed that. Longmeadow 
Here's a pitch to 27 for Long Meadow. Oh, He's got boy. the corner. Caught from behind. Tim Marinelli again on the carry. You don't see that often with Marinelli getting caught from behind because he had David DeLuca and Daly Afalabi out in front of him again on that as lead blockers. Still got about a five-yard gain for Long Meadow. Greg Alexandru checking in for Jack Dowd. Got to think in this situation, they're going to keep the ball on the ground and try to grind it out. Use up as much clock as they can. Absolutely. No need to get fancy here in your own territory. Knights shift into a wing left formation. What end off, end off to Tim Marinelli. He's met very soundly at the line of scrimmage by Ware. Tim said, you get the number of that truck? <laughs> I think that may be the only time they stopped Marinelli for minus yardage today. Robert Better made a nice tackle for Ware that time. Third and six for Long Meadow. Where's got to stop him here? Roll out, wide open the receiver. Oh, did he complete, hang on? Complete the number he got one it. for Long Meadow. Daily off a lobby. Daily off a lobby on the catch for Long Meadow. Picks up the first down. Good for first down. Kind of a surprising call. Gutsy call. Incompletion would have uh, stopped the clock. Instead, we've got a first down, and that clock keeps rolling. Longmeadow does pick up the first down. Just moved into where territory to about the 48-yard line. Jesse Weiss has done a good job on that rollout pass. Motion by Longmeadow. Sweep. Lava lobby. Flag in the play. Run out of bounds by number 44 for Ware. Sean Sullivan. Looks like a hold. Got holding against Long Meadow. Play's going to come back. Some great blocking tonight by number 55, Scott James, on the Long Meadow <laughs> offensive line. <coughs> Work off timeout. Timeout where? That's second and brings up second and 20 for Long Meadow. mask against David DeLuca. Pick up of about 15 on the play. A great catch by David DeLuca. Second and 
David DeLuca is upset a, because he thought the foul was against Longmeadow, but five it's five yard face mask penalty yeah. against Ware. It's gonna give uh, Longmeadow yeah. a first down, I believe, or it's gonna be real close. A five yard face mask penalty has been called against Ware. I'm still batting gonna zero little, in my predictions. A little short. Going to be about a yard short. Great catch by David DeLuca. Sure there was. Oh. Coach has obviously got a lot of confidence in his quarterback here, Mr. Weiss. Second down and about a yard job. and a half for Longmeadow. Second and one for Longmeadow on where it's 40. Longmeadow goes to a double slot. Snap back, oh. hit it off to the uh, lobby, breaks the tackle in the backfield, still on his feet. He looks like he's picked up the first down for Long Meadow. Great run. Boy, he was dead in his own backfield, wasn't he? Great run. A big hit on him in the backfield, but he uh, wasn't able to wrap him up. The lobby got loose and uh, picked up the first down for Long Meadow. That's got to break the Wears coach's heart. Gives Long Meadow a first down on the Wear 35 yard line. It's got to be getting close to the end of the fourth quarter. Second back through. Another flag. Number 35. 35 on the carry for Long Meadow. David Haddad, flag on the play. And it's going to be against Long Meadow. No indication by the official, but against Long Meadow. Holding, called against Long Meadow. Makes a first and 20. First and 20 for Long Meadow. Just as important, it stops that clock. Again, the rollout pass, complete for Long Meadow. Still on his feet. Ball was fumbled, but I believe the, the play was whistled dead. Number 35, Devin Haddad carrying to Long Meadow. Devin Haddad on the completion. Really something. Long Meadow's Catch passed. Run. They've passed more in the fourth quarter than they have all game, and they've got the lead. Get back some of the yardage uh, on the penalty. Still going to be second and. Uh, Second and 11 for Long Meadow. I think we're down to two minutes, Bob. If I heard the ref correctly, just advise the coaches that there are two, two minute minutes warning. left. Two minute warning on the game. Samara, here we go. Number 27. Nice pick, Tim Murnelli. Nice tackle by number 44 for where he knifed, knifed his way through there. Number 44, Sean Sullivan making the tackle for where. Nelly's coming out of the ball game for Long Meadow. He's got to be tired. Again, number 30, Greg Alexander comes in for uh, Jack Dowd. 46, Rob Foley checks in for Long Meadow. Burke calls timeout. Cheerleaders doing a great job tonight, Ed. Nice cheerleaders have done a fine job all evening long. Thank you, ladies. Let's have a round of applause. The play resumes.
Queens Longmeadow is going to set up third and about six, six for a first down. Under two minutes left in the game, Longmeadow leads 12 to nothing. Bob, it looks like we maybe should have been giving Coach Bob Bellinite some credit for some of these gutsy calls. He's, he's put it up when you might not expect him to, and he's been successful. David DeLuca is playing wide for Long Meadow. Jesse Weiss under center. Jesse back to pass. There's it out. Oh, just a little too far for Chris DeLuca. David DeLuca. Long yeah. pass. Looks like he heaved that some 40 yards in the air, Bob. Kid's got a strong arm. Put some air under that yep. one, didn't he? Yep. Number 19, Jesse Weiss. Pass was intended for David DeLuca, number 22. It was just a little too far for him. Weiss did a pretty good job sifting back there, get, buying himself some extra time, He's too. fourth down for Long Meadow. Yep. Fourth and seven for Long Meadow. Got 35, Devin Haddad checking in. to miss him with his gold shoes and one red sock or one black sock and one white sock. Where? This looks like a clock killer here. Yeah, when... <laughs> Pass intended for number 81. Have you, uh, Probably off the lobby. Have you seen that play before, Bob? Here's a flag on the play. Here's a flag on the play. Almost looked like he was doing that to kill the clock, huh, Bob? Yeah. He ran back a good 15 yards, turned it upfield, and heaved it downfield. The holding against Long Meadow declined. Ball's going to go over to where? About a minute left in the game, probably. Yeah. Holding penalty against Long Meadow declined. Boy, Long Meadow did a over on their 35. They did a terrific job keeping the ball as long as they did there. That was exactly what they needed to do. Yeah to run the clock down, they had to keep the ball. Yeah. They did a good job, that's for sure. First starts first down on their own 35-yard line. Got to think at some point in time they're going to start putting it up. Yeah. There's a pitch to number eight for where? Zach Barbius. Ball pitch to number eight, Zach Barbius. The nice. Tackled by number 29, Greg McQuaid. Terrific. Greg McQuaid Good. stop for Long Meadow. Good wrap tackle by Greg McQuaid. We're going with a no huddle. Spike it? We're spiking the ball. Stop the clock. <coughs> Not quite sure about that one, Ed. No. I think that may have been their most effective pass of the night. <laughs> they really haven't put it up tonight, have they? <coughs> well, in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the ball. No, he hasn't. The pass rush has been pretty relentless all night. Rush here. Yeah. Pass intended for number eight. Zach Barbie is for where? Intercepted by. Jared Lapis. Jared Lapis. And that's the uh, and end of the ball game. Let's give credit also to the pass rush of number 17, Brian Griggs, in forcing that game, interception. Final score. Long Meadow Knights, 12. Where? Zero. 
Ed, what was the key to the game tonight? Well, I really think it was stopping that end of the first half drive by Longmeadow and then Longmeadow hanging on to that ball in the fourth quarter. You can't score if you don't have the ball, and Longmeadow just dominated time of possession in that fourth quarter. There's no question they had the running game going tonight with uh, Tim Marinelli. Tim had to have over 100 yards rushing, and uh, I think the play calling was outstanding. Yeah, and uh, several key uh, completions by number 19 quarterback Jesse Weiss. So a three-game sweep for Longmeadow today, Bob. That's great. So from Lancer Field, Bob Michael and Ed McDonough saying good night.